distinguished leaders. In less than three months, your nations will come together for the most important meeting of a generation. Under your direction, the world can either continue on a path towards destruction, increased poverty and despair, or the world can move in a new direction. One thing is clear, you are facing a choice that will change the course of history. We represent members of the Climate Action Network, a network of nearly 500 organizations in over 75 countries. We call upon you to show the world what real leadership is made of. Rest assured, should you choose the correct path, the benchmarks for success are clear and achievable. We have the technology, resources and knowledge to tackle the challenge today without any delay. The climate negotiations in December in Copenhagen present you with an opportunity to take a crucial step. We call on you to agree to a fair, ambitious and binding agreement. The building blocks of a new planetary deal to overcome the threat of climate change are well known. Deep, legally binding emission reductions by developed nations at least 40% below 1990 levels by 2020, most of which should be met through domestic emissions reductions. Adequate and predictable funding from developed countries to enable developing countries to follow a low carbon growth path and cope with the impacts of climate change. The 2009 World Economic and Social Survey estimates $500 billion per year is needed. The Climate Action Network believes that at least $150 billion of that must be public finance provided through mechanisms that guarantee its delivery. A comprehensive system of technology cooperation that delivers sustainable development, enables poverty reduction and ensures access to sustainable energy services for all. A global adaptation action framework that massively increases support to vulnerable developing countries so they can reduce their vulnerability and build their resilience to climate change, manage loss and damage from the impacts of climate change that we know are now unavoidable. A commitment to continually and rapidly adjust world climate change action in line with the latest findings of science, and to do this through five-year commitment periods and binding reviews based on science. But despite all the details and goals and percentages and acronyms, this all comes down to one simple thing, leadership. Will you choose to be a leader? Will you choose to hear growing murmurs from vulnerable nations and peoples before they become screams? Luckily, this time, the path forward is clear. The question is, will you take the lead in following it? Will you take those first steps? Will you choose to be a leader? Opportunities for leadership are growing smaller every day. The next step is Copenhagen. We'll be there and the eyes of the world will be on the lookout for leaders. Will you be one of them?